Hey everyone, happy Saturday, September 21st. This is Let's Get Ripped, uh, part three. So let's dive right in. So right now I'm uh, less than 12 weeks out from my book release for Outdoor Physique. And as I've mentioned before, um, when Complete Physique came out, I, just, I didn't like how I looked. That was a very, very tough uh, period of time uh, in my life. Very pleased with the book, but just not my appearance at that time. So I vowed that when this one came out, I would look right, look how I, I'm supposed to look, look how I need to look, look to get back to me. So I'm on track, very excited. It's less than 12 weeks, it'll be out. Um, and uh, so I wanted to kind of go over certain things that I'm doing. The first thing I think it's extremely important is to still have at least one cheat meal a week. Now for me, the cheat meal is almost the holy experience. I can't do a little bit, it has to do full-blown cheat meal. I mean, I'm just an extreme person and that's just, just, just how I'm wired. So if it starts with this, it doesn't end with this. It can start with this. Some of you out there may do one or two Pop-Tarts and call it a day. For me, that's not even a warm up. That's not even getting me out of bed. So my point is, when I have my cheat meal, I generally like to have it alone. It's, uh, it's my time for one meal, not a whole day, but to eat whatever I like for one meal, for one sitting, as much as I can carry, and it works for me. That's mentally keeps me grounded, it keeps me sane, and it's something to look forward to. So at this point, I just backed off from like two a week, usually like a Wednesday, uh, Saturday, although last week it was a Thursday, Sunday, but regardless, now I'm gonna kinda hone down to one a week. So as I've said in past videos, to get ripped is slow incremental changes. You must not do everything at once because it, it'll backfire and you won't last the full uh, 12 weeks, 12 weeks span of transformation. So another point is, I'm at the gym the other day and there's a there's a guy who's staring at me. I always try to be friendly at the gym and afterward he comes over after my set and he says, you know, what, what are you training there? And I was talking with him and he said, I'm new. And he was a really uh, a heavy guy, big, big guy. And I said, uh, you're new, this is great. And I said, this is the best thing you can do for your, for your body, for your health. And I said, if I may say, do things slow. You know, trust your instinct and more is not better. Less is more, better is better, quality, quality, quality. So he kind of was like, kind of, yeah, yeah. And then after my weight training, I went and did cardio as is usual. And um, lately I'm just doing the treadmill on a steep, well not steep, but a slight incline at a, at a brisk pace. And in my peripheral side, I see him get on the Stairmaster. And um, I'm just thinking it's too soon, you know, but it's, it's not my business. I really can't say anything. And sure enough, seconds, and I mean seconds later, he, he was off. So it, he's new, he's trying out the gym, I guess, and, and everything, but you know, we must get this thing out of our heads that we have to be there hours a day or twice a day and, and restrict our calories to almost nothing. Like, no, change comes when it's done uh, gradually and slowly. And I do believe you have to learn you know, some, I, I believe like you can sit here and listen to knowledge from other people and that's extremely uh, important. And at the some, uh, but I also think we have to learn on our own. What I'm saying is, you know, I remember being a kid starting out and, and I would look, look at the magazines and, and read and so forth. But when people would say things, I, I would kind of take it with a grain of salt and experiment and learn what worked. And I learned what worked for me was uh, to train everything once a week, but to be really present for that workout not training muscle groups twice a week or even three times a week, which would backfire and I would get uh, atrophied and weaker and my strength would, would not be where it was and I actually would get flatter, a flatter, smaller, softer appearance to my muscles. So you learn with experience, you learn by trying. But again, go with your instinct and what feels right and, and it's very important to do things slow. So the other thing I, I wanna talk about, extremely important to stay on a program, a getting lean, peaking, leaning out program is variety, variety, variety. The, uh, you know, I've done the, the old days of chicken and rice, chicken and rice, chicken and rice, so I can't do it anymore. I have to change things around because this is a lifestyle. This is not a temporary thing. You know, it's, it, this, is a, this is how uh, so many of us live. So, eat, yes, you're gonna eat the regular, um, you know, the standard chicken breast, but change it up, you know, have, ground turkey breast, which is even leaner than chicken breast. Um, I picked up the other day some orange roughy. It's a very bodybuilder uh, uh, friendly food. Uh, actually has like a buttery taste. I always liked orange roughy, so it had variety. Um, you know, top round is a fairly lean beef. 
I have that. The other thing too is um, I think meal replacements are a great idea. I do them, many people do them today. They're a booming business. You know, you have meals that are prepackaged and mailed to you, ready to go, you just put it in the microwave. So variety, variety, variety is really, really gonna help. The other thing, and maybe this is no revelation to many of you out there, but to me it kind of is. I'm always trying to find new ways to spice up foods and I've always been hesitant to get heavy marinades and sauces because of the high, not even the caloric allotment, but the sugar content. But the other day I picked up a whole bunch of these Lowry's. Many of you may know about them. I, I, I didn't, because I don't really look there in that part of the aisle. And I noticed that um, there's almost no sugar in many of them. Now, some of them have some more sugar than I'd like, but you know, these are great things to actually, in the past few days since I got this, I've been sprinkling a little bit on my finished chicken or turkey or whatever, and it really spices it up. Um, it does say that this bottle, about 24 servings, okay? Now at 10 calories a pop, you can do the math there, but here's what you may not know. Um, it says total carbs is one gram, and I assume because of the, I assume now, because of what's in here, it's that gram is composed of sugar. So let's be honest, you know, how many people are gonna get 24 servings out of this? Maybe you'll get three, I'm just being realistic. So you, what I'm saying is that can add up quickly. Legally, they can get away with it. So watch the, the sugar content. I'm not worried so much calories. I'm worried about quality calories, but also I don't want to take in too much sugar. So what I will do is um, I literally will sprinkle on just a little bit on chicken or whatever protein, whatever food I'm having. It goes a long way. For me, this was a big thing this week. I'm super excited. I picked up a whole bunch of them. So change is important. You know, change. I think um, next week I may go, I'm currently at five days a week of cardio. So I have, you know, it's four days of training with weights, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday. Cardio is Monday through Friday for a half hour. And what I'm gonna start doing now is building up the intensity with that. So next week I'm going to attempt to get back to doing the Stairmaster. I've always, I have a love-hate thing with the Stairmaster, but it's always been my go-to cardio choice because I feel it's not, um, it's not too easy, say, as maybe the cycle might be, but I think it's definitely not as hard as, say, uh, obviously running. Now, I'm not a runner. I never was. I also want to preserve muscle mass, you know, as I get it closer to, to the event. I'm, I'm stingy with my muscle. I want to hold on to as much muscle as possible and get rid of body fat. So how do I do that? Well, I'm going to train as heavy and good form as I can up to the event and utilize my nutrition and my cardio to strip off the fat. So... Next week, we'll go five sessions of a half hour. I'm not changing the time increments yet on the Stairmaster. And for me, I only do level five. Many of you may scoff at that, but here's the thing. I'm doing cardio after a pretty intense, except for Wednesday, which is just um, abs and cardio, but a pretty intense weight training session. So I'm already really kind of um, winded. And the other thing is I'm not leaning heavily, you know, to support myself up while I'm doing the Stairmaster. So take these things in consideration. The other thing is I don't care how many calories I burn during cardio. I don't care, it doesn't matter. Do you know why? Because as soon as I eat my next meal, I'm gonna replace those calories. So then you might be like, well, why are we doing cardio? We're doing cardio to enhance our, our metabolism, the rate at which it, it, it burns through food uh, throughout the day for a um, sustained release. And that's why we do cardio, to basically speed up our metabolism. So the other thing is to resist, again, I'm gonna say it, the urge to do more. Better is better, more is not more. And sometimes I will say, happy accidents occur. Let me explain. For a long time now, I've been doing the hack squat. I don't like free squats, I feel them in my, my butt, which is already too big as it is, and my lower back. So my go-to is the Smith machine squat, but I must be honest, I've stayed away from it for a while. Just because, um, uh, truth be told, my weight belt wasn't able to fit for a bit. I have to be a little bit leaner for it to fit. And um, I just like the fact that I have, with a hack squat, my back is pressed against the pad. I feel I have protection. However, I'm not a patient person. I don't like to waste time. And yesterday, somebody was on the hack squat. How dare them? I'm just kidding. Everyone has as much right as anybody else. But I said, you know what? And I looked over and I said, I'm going to do the Smith machine today. I'm going to do the squats. I did them. And sometimes we have to relearn what we learned, and they're so effective. I, I'm really sore already today, so I'm gonna now implement back, and that was a happy accident yesterday about my Smith squats. So, you know, that was a cool thing, you know, that, that occurred yesterday. So, 
Do the best you can. If you miss a meal, you miss a meal. Try to get the meal in. Um, make a deal with yourself like I have with myself. If I have a training day and I've missed it for some reason, I'll allow myself provided I make it up the next day. But when you wanna get ripped, you have to go to a next level. And the first thing before you lock in the physique is the mind. I am compelled to get in superb shape because it's important to me. My parents are who this book is dedicated. They are, there's a picture of them in the back of the book. And I feel like I'm representing the Liebman family and this is the end of a long journey for me. It's my 13th book, but it's the third in a trilogy. And um, you know, I, I, I am so compelled to just do well and excel. So sometimes if you have a reason to get where you need to get, it's, it's, it's just, it, it can literally take you from A to Z. It can take you where you need to be. You also need a plan and you need to do things slowly. And as I've said, make incremental changes, but you can have it, it will, it will occur. I can prove it to you. As these videos um, go forward, okay, you know, in me, my face gets, gets kind of drawn when I get in shape. So you'll see in time, I'm uh, walking the walk, I'm putting my money where my mouth is, and you'll see me get leaner over the next few months. And the point is, is that you can do this too. You just have to have a plan. You have to be compelled to want to do this. Follow your instincts. Don't be so uh, quick to, to shift roads and gears all the time. Go with what works. That doesn't mean don't devour you know, this, this great world of ours for knowledge. I'm always trying to learn new things. I mean, look, I just learned about, you know, got the Lowry's the other day. I mean, I never, never used these before. So I hope you get something from this video. Sometimes I do feel like I ramble, but it's only because I want to impart knowledge and, and inspire and help people. And I was really happy to see that gentleman in the gym the other day. I mean, I really was because we are all in the gym to get better. It is the great equalizer. The gym is the one place I feel on this planet or one of the few where we're all equals. You can't buy it. You have to earn it. You have to work for it. And I think that's the, one of the most fair things about life. And I also think that that's a reason why I love working out and I always will. So have a great day, everybody, and stay tuned.